So the other day there was a great deal of both praise and mockery over the big unveiling of President Obama's official portrait. How about that? That's pretty sharp. Praise because it was undoubtedly a very cool looking portrait, but also mockery because it was maybe a little too cool looking and not really appropriate for a president. But see, this whole story was also bound up in a lot of myths and misconceptions about what a official presidential portrait even is. Let me explain. So for starters, this was not in fact President Obama's official portrait. See, when you are a politician, you generally only get two official portraits and they're very specific things. The first is your official photograph, which is usually taken shortly after you assume office and is used on the official government website and all sorts of other official government places. The second is your official historical painting, which is usually done a few years after you leave office and is hung in a place of honor in whatever government place you used to work. President Obama had his official government photograph taken on January 13th, 2009, a few days before he was sworn in. This was actually a kind of interesting historical event because it was the very first time a president had ever had his official photograph taken with a digital camera. After a president gets his photo taken, it is sent to an obscure department of the federal government called the Government Publishing Office, who print out a bunch of copies and mail them out to anyone who wants one. Most of them go to government buildings, who often like to hang pictures of the president in their lobby to impress visitors. You can actually purchase your very own officially licensed government grade photographic portrait of the president of the United States if you want from the Government Publishing Office website. An 8x10 photo of the president will set you back about 10 bucks, but beware! Another very obscure department of the federal government, the US General Services Administration, has a lot of specific rules for how you are supposed to display your official photograph of the president. For example, if you wish to display your official photograph of the president beside your official photograph of the vice president, the vice president's photo must always be placed on the right. And any photos of cabinet secretaries or deputy cabinet secretaries must be displayed under the photograph of the president and vice president in the order of presidential succession. Unless you only have one photograph of a cabinet secretary, in which case the vice president's photo must be placed on the president's left and the cabinet secretary to the president's right. And both non-presidential photographs must be displayed lower than the president's, though no more than halfway. President President Trump was actually notoriously slow in getting his official photograph taken for whatever reason. He didn't get it done until October of last year, a full nine months after he was sworn in. The portrait desperation was getting so bad in some places, rogue government employees were forced to hang unofficial photographs of President Trump in violation of federal rules. Which then, of course, immediately had to be pulled off of the wall at taxpayers' expense. I mean, we don't want to live in anarchy, do we? So anyway, that is official presidential portrait type number one. Official presidential portrait type number two is the nice oil painting that hangs in the White House. Every single president of the United States has one of these, as do all of the first ladies. They are some of the most recognizable pieces of presidential art, including this painting of Abe Lincoln and this one of JFK. These days, the official White House paintings are commissioned by something called the White House Historical Society and are usually not completed until a president has been out of office for a few years. President Clinton's official White House portrait wasn't done until 2004, and George W. Bush's wasn't done until 2012, in both cases quite a while after these men had left the Oval Office. President Obama's official portrait hasn't been done yet and probably won't be done until the early 2020s. But wait, you say, so what was the deal with that leafy Obama portrait that everybody was getting so excited about? Well, my friends, that was not, in fact, an official portrait at all. It was simply a painting commissioned by the Smithsonian Institution to hang in the National Portrait Gallery in Washington, D.C. See, back in 1994, the National Portrait Gallery got jealous of the White House having so many cool presidential portraits, so they decided to invent a tradition of commissioning their own presidential portraits too. And in a very clever PR move, they also decided to make it a priority to get their portraits done a lot faster than the White House Historical Association. This would give their portraits a lot more media attention and confuse the public into thinking that their portraits were in fact the official ones. So they got a portrait of the old man Bush in 1994, one of the Clintons in 2006, one of George W. Bush in 2008, and of course the Obamas in 2018. Usually only a year or so after the president left the White House instead of, you know, like four years. The one of Bill Clinton actually wound up being super controversial, partially because of the pose. Duffman is thrusting in the direction of the problem. And in part because in 2015, the artist admitted that he basically hated Bill Clinton and this blob over here was supposed to represent the shadow of the Monica Lewinsky scandal. Under mysterious circumstances, which we are assured had nothing to do with lobbying from the Clintons themselves, this portrait was eventually replaced with this one, which certainly makes the Obama leaf portrait look like a testament to conservative restraint. But the whole Clinton situation also highlighted the fact that these paintings in the National Portrait Gallery 
gallery are not as official as they seem. I mean, if you want to get technical about it, any painting that hangs in any gallery anywhere is an official painting because official just means authorized by someone. I could be like, look, here is the official portrait of Bowser from Super Mario Brothers. And that would be true in this context because this is the only portrait I have authorized to hang in my house. Lots of places all over the US commission portraits of presidents for one reason or another. I remember there was like this gentleman's club in Philadelphia a while ago that commissioned a portrait of George W. Bush which then allowed Bush to make like the world's most cliched politician unveils his own portrait dad joke. Welcome to my hanging. <laughs> and see like again that was the club's official portrait of George W. Bush but it wasn't the official portrait. My advice to the media is to just stop saying official portrait altogether. Either say official photograph or White House portrait. Those are the only two things anyone should really care about anyway. <laughs> hey everybody thank you so much for watching my video. Hopefully this was edutational. This channel of mine has been getting increasingly popular lately, which is really awesome. Thanks so much to all of my great viewers and subscribers, particularly those of you who leave such consistently great comments in the comment section. I do read almost all of them. If you have any fun facts about presidential portraits or just other portraits of politicians, be sure to leave them below. For those of you who care about my political opinions, it may also interest you to know that I was recently hired to be an online columnist for National Review, the famous conservative American politics magazine. I try to keep my political opinions as much out of these videos as possible so that they can be enjoyable to everyone, but if if you want to see the more controversial side of me, you can check out some of my writing there or follow me on Twitter where I tend to beak off about politics a lot as well. See you all next week. Right, Bowser?